biggest sperm whale I've ever seen. Get closer. No, that's why we use drones. So we don't have to get closer to giant animals. Fine. <sighs> Deploying tracking device. Hey, what are those marks on the whale? Okay, now you gotta get me closer. No way, Ant. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Uh. Yes! That's a bit too close! Ah! for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. Rover, come in, Rover. This is Aranax. You guys okay? And? Bonte? Yeah, I'm okay. I fell on something soft when we crashed. That would be my face. We're nearly in position to retrieve you. Sit tight. Oh, stupid light. I hope the rover's not badly damaged. Replacing the drone's gonna put a big enough hole in your pocket money, Fontaine. The rover's in one piece. More or less. My Ugh. pocket money? What about Ant? Uh, you were driving. The only reason we were even out here is because of your dumb plan. Dumb? What's wrong with finding a colossal squid by tracking the animal that eats them? It's the perfect plan. How many perfect plans have you had to find a colossal squid? And how many colossal squids have we actually found? Oh wait, none. Face it, you're obsessed. I'm not obsessed. I'm just never giving up. <sighs> oh. Okay, Will, we're above the rover. Deploy and retrieval clock. Did I tell you? Many times. What was it gonna say? Did I tell you if we find a deep sea colossal squid, it'll be the first time anyone's ever seen one alive? A ginormous moment for Ant Necton science and the universe! Wrong! I don't even sound like that. I was gonna say I saw sucker marks on that whale. It must have been fighting a colossal squid. Uh, look, there! Ready to grab the rover. Hold on, this could get bumpy. Huh, that wasn't so bad. I haven't started yet. What? Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Fontaine. Does my face look like a cushion to you? Kids are in bed, but Ant isn't sleeping. He's probably too excited about chasing squid tomorrow. Can you pass me the torque wrench? I need a torque wrench. This is an impact driver. You should go get some sleep. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. I'll be done here soon. And then I'll be straight up after I've replaced that faulty light bulb on the bridge. It's just bugging me. Professor Fiction was pretty insistent that we don't touch anything electrical on the Aranex until he's completed a thorough analysis. I think I can handle a light bulb. Will, this isn't your field. You know how I know? Because you just handed me a can opener. <laughs> I must be really tired. Um, I'm not doubting that you can change the bulb. Just promise me you won't, okay? I'll think about it. See, Will, nothing went wrong. Oh, come out! You 
went in easily enough. I just had a nightmare about the sun exploding. You messed with that light bulb after promising not to? I didn't. You didn't touch it. No, I didn't promise not to. Ugh. Jeffrey's tank aerator just went into overdrive. I think he's had too much oxygen. <gasps> you didn't touch anything electrical, did you? Don't worry. As soon as I find the right tool, I'll undo the... Aranax, this is me. Oh, <laughs> Professor Fiction. Keiko, I've got a readout somewhere indicating the Aranax experienced an anomalous surge. You didn't touch anything electrical, did you? Well, I... No. I... Okay, yes. But I only changed a tiny, really tiny light bulb. And now every single light in the entire sub has the brightness of a thousand suns. I'm changing it back. Don't touch it! The circuitry's too unstable. Any power surge, however small, might have unpredictable consequences. Oh, come on. It's just a light bulb. Should we be heading back to base? Oh, there you are. Uh, hmm, according to this, you should be fine. Just don't put the electrics under any more stress. Don't worry, we won't touch a thing. Will we, Keiko? It's the collision alarm. Something's coming at us. Sorry, Professor, gotta go. It's the whale I'm tracking. It's swimming in wild zigzags. There are other objects. Must be the rest of the pod. Uh, it's too bright in here. I can't see anything out the window. They're coming straight at us. Activate the shield. No way! Hold on! Ah! Yeah. The outside camera. Gotta rewind that footage. Everyone all right? Uh, sorry, Fontaine. It was an accident. Don't worry. I'll live. Any damage to the sub? Running diagnostics now. Whoa. Are those tentacles around the whale? There were sucker marks on the whale before. A colossal squid was fighting the whale, trying to escape being eaten. It would explain why the whale crashed into us, and why Mom fell on my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no sign of the whale. That was a huge impact. Hope it's okay. It looks like the whale is still swimming. <gasps> Listen. <sighs> I never get tired of that sound. It can't be badly hurt. It's probably still fighting the colossal squid. Oh, please don't make me wait till morning to follow it. This might be our best chance to observe a colossal squid. Keiko? Impact took out the outside cameras, and we've lost comms to the surface. But nothing bad enough to stop us from making history. Yes! Besides, it's way too bright in here to sleep. So, if the whale sings when it hunts, wouldn't that scare off its prey? You'd think so. Jeffrey's scared every time he hears me sing. <laughs> I don't blame him. I'm scared every time I hear you sing, too. Could be how the whales hunt. The squid flees the singing right to where the rest of the pod's waiting. Boom! Ambush! Something's ahead. Big, and it's not moving. It's not the whale. Can we get the floodlights up? It might cause another electrical surge. We need to know what's out there, Geiko. You're right, but only minimum power. And we just lost power to the fridge. Something else for fiction to fix. See anything, Ant? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. That's bigger than anything that's ever washed up on a beach. Stop. You are not going anywhere. But my whole mission's been to get video of one of these animals in the wild. You let us go out there with a huge sperm whale. And look how that turned out. It's not moving at all. I don't think it's alive. Ant can drive the rover. I'll record. <gasps> You'll come? I'm not gonna miss out. And if you drive, it'll be your pocket money if something does go wrong. We haven't said yes yet. Ahem. <clears throat> Mom, Dad. Going back many generations, the Necton family has always passed on. I cannot believe Mom and Dad bought your cheesy, you raised me to be a Necton speech. Uh, what can I tell you? It's a gift. We can still hear you, you know. <laughs> You're out there because we agreed that a dead thing probably won't hurt you. Also, that cheesy speech was pretty good. 
I wonder what happened to it. Possibly the fight with a whale? Did that tentacle just move? Eh, probably just the current. I don't think it's the current. Look, there! I don't see anything. Play it again. It's alive! Ah! Ted, Fontaine, get back to the Aranex, now! Ah! caused the air scrubbers to fail. Kids, get back ASAP. We need to surface if we want to keep breathing air. Ah! 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 Did you see that? My friend has friends. If they were waiting for us in the dark, you know what this means? Um, surprise party? They're intelligent. They, they work together. That one must have been playing dead to catch us. Wow. I'm not so impressed by being hunted. But we know they hate light. Get us into the light before... Ugh. It's got us! Hold on! It's blocking our light! Is it doing that on purpose? More squid are coming! Hey, accelerate when I say. But Ant will have no money, ever. He'll be paying off the rover for the rest of his life. Oh. We'll head for the surface. We've still got hours of good air. We'll be fine. No, never say that. Well, that solved the bright lighting problem. Maybe the squid won't attack. Without the engines, we can't get to the surface. We're too deep to dump the ballast? An emergency ascent from this depth would blow the Aranax wide open. We have to climb slowly so we can equalize the pressure inside with the massive easing of pressure outside. How long will our air last? If the oxygen mix drops below this mark, we won't have enough breathable air to get us to the surface, even with the engines. Got any bright ideas? Electrical problems must have blown the engine fuel servos. I've got to find a way to fix them. Need a flashlight? It's okay. I know this boat like the back of my hand. Oh! Yeah, flashlight'd be good. Well, we're not using up air too quickly. At least something electrical's working on this boat. 
Trying the engines now. Come on, come on! Yes! Yes! Oh, right, you you did, did it! Nice work, Keiko! Way to go, Mom! Back off the throttle! Back off! The engines are overheating, thermostat shorted out. We can only run at minimum power or they'll seize. Climbing. At minimum power, the squid are gonna drag us down. Keiko, we have to get the engines back up. Working on it. We should be fine, so long as nothing else goes wrong. I really think we should ban sentences like that on this submarine. Every time we... We have a fire! There it is. Fire will eat up the last of our air. Keiko, I'm coming. Both of you head to the moon pool room. If this gets any worse, I want you ready to abandon ship. How? We can't go outside with those squid. We wouldn't last two seconds. We'll find a way to draw them away. Get to the moon pool now! What is it? I left something on the bridge. What did you leave behind? An idea. Come on, come on! Yes! There! The whale you were tracking? Can you get us close to it before we're dragged down? We can only move it a crawl. If we can get close... The whale song could scare the squid away! Okay, let's do this. Keiko! We're going down faster than we're moving forward! Just a bit closer... No! We lost all of our detection systems! Sonar, tracking, we're blind! Hey, Fontaine, why have we changed direction? Why aren't you in the moon pool room? Dad? Uh, oh, we... We were just trying to... We're almost out of air! Whatever you were trying, it hasn't worked. We're out of time. Please, kids! Get ready to abandon the sub! but the engine's still dead. Well, we haven't got enough oxygen to get to the surface anyway. I wonder... Here, use this. A can opener? The old faulty bulb? Footage, but worth being almost dragged to our doom? Totally! We captured footage of creatures never seen before! 
Nothing too bad happened. I mean, it's not like there's any permanent damage. 